And welcome back. So we got it revealed today a bit of what's going to happen in the story in, in Guilds of Ravnica, the Ravnica Allegiance and all that. Um, so uh, basically what's going to end up happening is there's it's going to be split down the middle. Five guilds are going to side with Niv Miz, or Niv Miz, Nicol Bolas when he comes in whatever the third set's name is. Uh, well, technically, or not, technically it's not a full one block. It's just individual sets. Yeah, with that have an overlying story, um, or overlining story. But yeah, five guilds are going to be jo are, and I'm gonna actually get the article up here right now so I actually can reference it correctly. Uh, five guilds will be siding with Nico Bolas. It's very likely he's already got his claws into son of a bitch. I pricked the, uh, pressed the wrong one. Uh, claws into these guilds as it is. Uh, there we go. Um. Uh, so, it, and then five are going to be on the, um, five are going to be on the side of the, of not Nicol Bolas, of basically the, the resistance against Nicol Bolas, if you will. So, and I'm getting this article up right now so I can actually talk about it in proper. So, let's see here now. Uh, where, oh where, okay, Cold War and Peace... Okay, split the guilds. Split the guilds out. Five would fall under Bolas's influence. The five would, and five would not. Although I should point out that each guild that has elements pulling in both directions. The five guilds that fell to Bolas would each have a planeswalker beholden the Bolas, which would lead the guild. So the question is: is which which guilds are going to be on Bolas's side and which aren't? Now they did say that. Two are going to be uh, so each color because the guilds are falling on the balls. We want two sets leading up to it, uh, and we want to, the first set to have two boas leaning guilds and the second to have three. So we know two are going to be in guilds of Ravnica, and then Ravnica Allegiance is going to have the remaining three. Now, what guild? So basically, we got to break down what guild, what we know about the guilds, um, for that are going to be under Bolas control. They're going to have a Planeswalker beholding the Bolas leading them. So that's going to be a big one. So we already know Ral, we already know Izzet is going to be one of them. But Miz is still alive right now in the story. So does Miz, and we know that Jace is probably going to try to recruit Miz to stop Bolas. Now, does Miz die? Does he lose control of the guilds and have to fight on the resistance with uh, the Gatewatch against Bolas? We don't know, but we know Izzet's going to be one of them. And we know Golgari is the other one because Veraska was beholden to Bolas because she worked for Bolas and she he made her the new guild leader. We know she's the guild leader at this point. So we know that the resistance at the moment is going to be composed of Boros, which would make sense. There's uh, there's nothing about Boros that says they would side well, uh, with Bolas. Selesnia, the only combination, the only color combination guild that doesn't have anything in common with Bolas. They are green white, which are the only two colors that Bolas is not. And then Demir. Now, you would think Demir would probably be one of the guilds to side with Bolas, but it actually makes sense they wouldn't. They don't trust anyone, not even themselves. So it would actually make sense that they are not on Bolas' side. They would be part of the resistance. So on the on the Bolas' side right now, we have Golgari, and we have um, uh, Is it? So that's easy. The part that's not as easy is figuring out who the three who the three uh, Bolas Align guilds are going to be, and Ravnica Allegiance, and who the two other non, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, who the two uh, allied guild, remaining allied guilds are going to be. So we have to basically, um, well, we have to basically discern what we know of the remaining guilds. It's Gruul, Simic, uh, Orzov, Azorius. And why am I missing blanking on one? Why am I blanking on one? Rakdos. So first off, what do we know? Do we know any planeswalkers who, first off, are even on the plane, um, who aren't new planeswalkers? I guarantee you, we're gonna get at least one new planeswalker at minimum in the next set. Um, what planeswalkers do we know have been on Ravnica that are part of that set, uh, that would be in any of those guilds? Um, well, the only one I can think of is Domarad. Uh, Domarad would be the one I would believe that would be the that would be the only planeswalker, and unfortunately, from a I don't I don't I actually don't see Domarad being the one being like a traitor to him. Um, I I don't see 
I don't know about that. Domarod now he's a young and impressionable kid, so Domarod might be might be that. That might be the case. Uh, but other than that, there are no planeswalkers that we have re that we really know that have been on Ravnica that are beholden to the guilds. And if we go by the planeswalkers we have met that fit the color combinations, Kior is not going to be Simic. If we if we get a new planeswalker and Simic is the ones that go with Bolas, uh, it would be a new planeswalker. Um, we do know. Oh God, uh, Tessia, that um, that ghost killer from. Um, uh, Fiora from uh, Conspiracy, the white black planeswalker, and Soren. Soren's currently stuck on Innistrad. Um, and I don't know if we'd get Tessia as a as a character. I don't think we would. Uh, Azorius, uh, Azorius is a weird one. Azorius is a weird one because we could definitely see a new white blue, white blue planeswalker. Because I mean, what we got uh, Dovin Bond. I think Dovin Bond actually Dovin Bond could show back up. That, I didn't even consider that until I just said it out loud. Dovin Bond was technically working with Tezzeret. While I don't know if he's beholden the Bolas, I think Dovin Bond might be an, a, a legitimate candidate for that. Uh, because otherwise you got Narset, who I think is chilling on Tarkir right now. Um, I mean, uh, Venser's dead. There is no other white-blue planeswalkers to my knowledge right now. Uh, I'm just going back, scaling back a minute. Oh, uh, Tefir. Well, Tefir's not going to be. Tefir's like going against Bola, so he's not going to show up. At least not in a, not in a villainous role. Um. Uh. So. And then Rakdos. Planeswalker wise, the only one I can think of is Dargetti from again, uh, Conspiracy and Commander. And yeah, he was. I'm now we could see Tybalt maybe show back up. Uh, that's possible, and maybe he's black red at this point. But uh, I mean, that's the only planeswalkers I can think of existing. And now, so I have to basically go off of more of which guild would it make sense would go towards Bolas from the ones we still have. Orzov seems almost like a guarantee. Orzovs are the Orzov are greedy, selfish. They're looking to just. You know, amass wealth, power, that kind of stuff. Not in the same uh, way, but just the greedy immortal ghosts. And Bolas could easily snuff them out if he really wanted to. And I, you know what? I bet he could put Liliana in charge of him. Because he's got Liliana on his wing. So I bet you you could see Liliana in charge of the Orzov. It would give her a reason to show back up. We haven't had a Planeswalker card of her since... Uh, oh, shit. Do we have a Planeswalker card? We didn't have a Planeswalker card of her in Dominaria, do we? What's the last Liliana card we had? Um, I'm trying to think. We didn't have one in Ixalan. We did not have one. In, did we have one in Dominaria? Uh, we didn't have Gideon. We had see. We had Jayla Barrett. We had Karn. We had Tefir. Uh, I don't think we had. No, we don't. We don't. I don't think we had Liliana. And uh, let me just. Uh, Dominaria, or return to Dominaria. Return to Dom. Ah. Return. Why don't I try Dominaria instead? Because I'm having trouble actually putting that word in. Dominaria. Dominaria. Let's see now. Dominaria card list. I'm trying to think, because if otherwise the last version of Liliana we got would have been in. Uh, uh, Amon Ket. That would have been the last, um, sh yeah, down there. Okay. That would have been the last version of Liliana. I feel like we did get a version in Dominaria, though. I feel like we did. Point being, she's under Bolas's control. So, uh, and the Orza would actually fit right up her alley in terms of, uh, control. Uh, so, or in terms of a fit. Uh, so, yeah, I could, I would definitely see that. I could definitely see that happening. Uh, so far I'm not stealing Liliana. Um, no, it doesn't look, okay, we did not get a new Liliana. So yeah, we did, haven't gotten, had a new Liliana, Liliana, Liliana since, well, actually, technically since M19, but since, um, actually, no, 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 we're not since the M19. I don't think so. M19, one second, I gotta double check that. Uh, no, yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, we had a new one in M19, because she was the black one they used for carry that interaction with Bolas. Um, 
So yeah, I think Liliana's a prime candidate, and I think the Orzhov are definitely going to side with Bolas. I just think Rakdos is an obvious one. Rakdos is powerful, but someone that Bolas could still take on. Bolas doesn't seem to have much contention with demons. I mean, de powerful demons probably pose enough of a threat that he sees them as something he doesn't want to go against if he can help it. But ultimately, it's not something that really th worries him, and I don't think Rakdos ultimately is... Uh, it w would uh, be an issue for him. I think he would. Uh, I, I think he would just be, you know, uh, it's like, oh, Rakdos, I'll just manipulate you. It's like just steering that direction. Uh, and then a planeswalker to fit that. I think Tybalt might come back into the fray. Um, yeah, Tybalt. I think Tybalt would actually be the most. Sen Assuming you don't get a new planeswalker, mind you, Tybalt makes the most sense. Um, uh. <laughs> Uh, so, sorry, there's an episode of House on it, I, I like House. Uh, so, the last, the question is, who's going to be the last member in the, in, to basically, uh, join it? Who's going to be the last guild? Uh, Simic, Gruul, or Azorius? Honestly, I'm going to say I don't see the, unless, the Gruul's a possibility, because they've been, they've been feeling uh, they, uh, 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 they've been feeling uh, basically like they lost their way in purpose and maybe Bolas could e probably easily manipulate them. Um, so it's possible with Gruul, uh, but um, I don't I don't see Gruul's too unruly and too uncontrollable. If they feel that there's something a great evil that you know they that's threatening what little nature is left in the world, they might rise up against it and join the you know the resistance. In fact, I feel they they would actually feel more welcome to join the resistance because they love a good fight. Um, likewise, Simic's a weird one. Simic was actually the bat was more or less the one of the main villains in the original Ravnica storyline. Um. Vor, uh, oh god, what was his name again? The Elf. Um, I have a, I have a nice card, too. Uh, let's see now. Simic. Uh, Combined. Alright, more, is it, is it more, more than Veer or something like that? Uh, oh, more, more, more Vig, that was his name. Yeah, he created was like resurrecting the Nephilim and using dragon eggs and things along those lines. Yeah, but they took the guild took a different direction when the Return to Ravnica came around and Gate Crash, because the Sinkholds open up. Merfolk are now part of uh, the Ravnica world again, and they, I mean, they were still the the scientists and the gene splicers, and I love the guild for that. You get so many wacky creatures and shenanigans out there. I love it. Um, it's my favorite guild. It is. But ultimately, yeah, um, I don't see the new Simic siding with the Bolas. I don't see the new Simic doing that. Azorius, though, is a weird thing because Jace has been gone. He's a living guild pack. They're all about control, law, and order, even more so than even the Boros. They're all bureaucrats. So if they, if Boros promises a way to a way to give them control, then they might very well take it, and even uh, Laza, Lava, what was it? <sighs> One second, Azorius. Uh, let's see now, Azorius. Azorius. Uh, let's see now, Azorius killed. All right, uh, Azorius Senate. What? Who was it? Uh, their uh, their shield champion was not Isparab. Now it's. Uh, what's the name? Lavina. Lavina was the guild champion, and she is actually she actually works under um Jace when he's there, and I think is one of the few who knows he's a planeswalker. So, and she, I think she's okay. Last we saw was the Sphinx Esphiria who was in control, I believe. I'll be honest, they seem actually like the most likely candidate because I have to believe he's going to have a balance of the guild. That's the thing. That's the real thing here, is that there's going to be a balance of the guilds, I believe. That uh, And I believe that fits the balance. Azorius would be the white-blue. Um, uh, Orzov is the white and the black. So that's two white, one blue and black. 
Is it is the blue and the red? Rakdos is black. So okay, they might have a little extra black on their side. They don't have a lot of green, but it would make sense. There wouldn't be a lot of green that sides with Bolas anyway. Um, yeah. So uh, that well, actually, hold on. Let me think on that real quick. Because there's color combination through color combinations. They got he got Golgari. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, no, it, it would make sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, I mean, he gets racked. So, yeah, I think that makes sense, honestly. It's almost near balance, too. And they've said that that last set is not going... is going to be focused more on the story itself than the world the story takes place on, which will be an interesting uh, idea. He want They wanted to make, make the first two ones, Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance, about Ravnica and the Guilds, because that's what players love about the plane. But the last set will be more about the actual conflict that happens. So that's going to be really cool to see. Uh, but ultimately, who do you think is going to side with uh, Bolas? Uh, I mean, overall, uh, how do you think it's going to play? And what do you think is going to be the end result? What's going to happen to Ravnica? Ultimately, I th I'm pretty certain Bolas will be defeated. I don't know if he's going to be killed. I'm going to actually put a, uh, I'd put money on saying he's not going to die, but he will be defeated. But what do you think ultimately? Put in the comments below, let me know. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review bit at some point. I use for who would win. Star Wars, Superhero, Magic, What If, anything I do on the channel. Put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. I'll be back in a little bit with who would win.